I see you've come back for your daily dose of dingo. Well, you can find this and more alliteration over at my Twitch right there. Enjoy the video. Yep. Ferret. I mean, it seems fine. If you play against a lot of living end anyways. If the meta is going to devolve into a bunch of living end, this game seems really, really good. It was $1,400 and I got right up and walked out of the store. They had, so when I went to Magicon Philly back in February, they had a love sack display. And I sat on one. I was like, dang, this is pretty comfy. And they're like, oh yeah, that's one of our cheaper ones. It's only $1,100. And I was like, not that comfy. Not that comfy. I walked out. I walked away. Mm -hmm. Psycho Waker. I don't have red mana yet. This might be kind of doomed. Yuri kind of sucked, the bad card. Now you're right. Uh, you know, I actually need to do this differently. What I needed to do, I guess, was not attack with Dothi here, hit the Grief, and then take the Violent Outburst, sacrifice Dothi, take the other Violent Outburst. That was like my out there, was hitting Grief off of their deck. I think that was probably my out. I attack with everything, I'm taking a million. Alright, game three. Game three. Bloodmoon actually seems pretty good against them. Against their uh, particular build anyways. They're playing the build that can hard cast grief. I'll try this. This game still feels a lot worse though. Definitely a lot worse. A lot nerfed. All right, bail me out, turn two fable. I think I'm probably binning Bowmaster Raghavan here. So I can get him back whenever they're living in. Hmm.
Bomb Cycling. Gets Watery Grave. Forest Cycling. Gets a Forest. I'm gonna use my not dead effect. Get the spell master back. I think I'm pinging them with both. I don't know, they get a food token, so I can't really raise this. Can't really race this. Maybe I'm supposed to kill the curator. And kill the troll. Enough to kill the troll. I don't block and I swing I, I copy this swing team they go block block they take one two three four five six seven so they're not dead so I have to do this then this sucks what's up Glade Zyre number one Moon. Always. That complicates things. That complicates things. Do they have Foundation Breaker in their hand? I think they cascaded over it. Killing the Flyer. Going face doesn't do anything because they have the food token. Have to kill the Flyer. I think I'm just jump jumping. Killing the flyer. Dead to Violent Outburst. Always dead to Violent Outburst. That plays. Don't hate another Bowmaster. Might actually win this game because of Blood Moon. It's going to be close, though. We're doing like Mount Doom damage to them one at a time.
No violent uppers, please. Can't be violent uppers. I'm actually dead next turn. Then I'm violent uppers. Living in used to play Urborg. They've been cutting it more recently. Yogi. I don't know. I don't know if Scam would have survived Grief Ban. I don't even know if it's surviving the Fury Ban, to be honest. Yay. We beat Living End. Hands have been kind of bad. Game has good matchups, but overall it got significantly weaker. But I mean, if I keep queuing into Living End, which is what I assume Misty Rainforest Pass means. Oh, no. Not Living End. Round, round, Murktide, Shadow, Consider. I'm going to take the Shadow. Where? Yeah, blue black shadow tide. I actually put out a four four. A little bit surprising. This game being back is the greatest gift. Feels birthday, man. Feels birthday, man. They can't drown in the lock this yet, so I think running this out this turn's for the best. The Yogg matchup feels kind of unwinnable. I played it twice and I've lost to it twice. I'm probably gonna test with DT a little bit later tonight and see if it's got any merit. No, Totem didn't really help. The only thing Totem did was shut off my own reflection. Curse Totem doesn't, it doesn't do what you need it to do. Totem's fine, but it doesn't stop Grist. It doesn't stop Cauldron shenanigans. I mean, it, it stops the activated abilities, obviously, but it doesn't stop, like, Cauldron disrupting your graveyard. But more importantly, it just doesn't stop Grist. And Grist is, like, busted. And do this while I tapped out a drown. And you have no way of dealing with the creatures also. Like you have no sort of sweeper for them. Outside of maybe like playing Brotherhood's End. Which is what I'm trying in this sideboard. I have two copies of Brotherhood's End just to try it out. But I'm not even confident that this card's good against them. It's pretty good against you in fact. Because all your stuff is X2s, X3s. Dothy's next two, Bowmaster's next one, Fable, Reflections, or X2s. So it might be better against you than the opponent. 
Well, Path of Peril doesn't deal with Grist. Brotherhood's End at least does 3 damage to Grist. Messed up. Wait, did they just select no? I think they just selected no. By mistake. The song's at the top of the screen, Tombstone. Force of Despair. Force of Despair is terrible. Yogg's really only playing like one creature a turn. She can't be good enough. You have to deal with an already established board presence somehow. That's like become very, very difficult without some sort of pyrokinesis effect. Oh, my opponent's never drawing a card. Hey, Punishing Waterfalls, thanks for the raid. How was your legacy testing tonight? Appreciate it, as always. What's that instant speed pyroclasm? It's like volcanic fallout. Power claps was like hard got power crap so hard. Or pyroclasm. There's no realistically there's no good answer to Yogmoth right now. From Scam. Now that Fury's gone. Fury was by and far the best card in the matchup. I don't think there's anything that can like even remotely keep up. Bonfire, I guess if you're feeling lucky. Yeah, Bonfire might be good. If you're feeling lucky, punk. Well, Needle's like Cursed Totem. But you can Needle Grist, which is nice, but at the same time, Needle's like Cursed Totem. It doesn't answer any of the like random green black 1-1s one or two ones that are just going to beat down. Needle is bad against Cauldron, but also good against Cauldron at the same time because you can Needle the Cauldron early on. But if they get something under the Cauldron, then Needle becomes horrendous. I don't know how to board against the opponent. They're probably a Bowmaster deck. I'm just going to cut Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize is like my go-to cut if I don't know what to cut. MTG boss said nope. When a different opponent plays a spell, it deals damage to target creature or player equal that spell's converted mana cost. Let's go. Seven drop. I'm in. I'm gonna get kind of greedy and put the land back here over Bolt or Ragavan. My Ragavan has been yelled at. Hey, Monty. Yeah, we're scamming. We're trying anyways. This deck feels like... Ugh. 
I don't know, significantly worse than it used to be. Still good, but like significantly worse than it used to be. Spending the land has costed me severely. Oh, that doesn't count Bolt Snap Bolt because you're playing Rhinos. So, I would say I'm proud of you, but it just doesn't count. You just invalidated it with the second half of that sentence. Mm -hmm. I got so punished for bottoming this land. Hey, come on, MTG bot. Any day now. I think I'm bending this blood moon. I think it's kind of too little too late for this blood moon. Yeah, let's go with that bolt snap bolt. That all sounds pretty accurate. Yeah, Liam. Yeah. Live, Shelly. Live. I googled it and read it in Delta. Because the bot's on, uh... All of the spiteful, the four mana one. Other creatures get minus one, minus one. Guess. Maybe I should be playing that. I got a trade here. Okay. Take seven, go to six. Try not to die, die a lot. I don't have a one mana answer to Merc Tide, so. Agavon needs to hit something good. I don't want a second K command here. One less bolt. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh yeah, no, Hotashi's great. Hotashi's hilarious. Hello, thank you for the tier one of the three months. We're trying, we're trying. Thank you. Hello, I appreciate it. Yeah, no, Magic. She was in here earlier until Magical Bander. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Makes the molten collapse. I got main phase is Bowmaster. I could I didn't play Grief. This one's playing Grief still. Oh god. Uh we can do it tomorrow, Zeriok. This might be my last league for the day. Depending on how long it takes. Let's 
because I had Gleef in it. I should probably play this fetch so I don't get tied binder, but I also want to keep the fetch up in case they like play something I need to revolt fatal push. Dress down preordain time. But now when I played Scam, I played uh well, I played Rakdos. No scam. And I played Ring Shelly in the spot of Fury Grief. And I felt super weak. Took Fatal Push. How many shadows they have in hand? Merc Tide Shadow Consider. I'll take the Merc Tide. I'm very surprised that they ended up taking Fatal Push instead of Grief. I think Hammer's got a bad matchup against the top three decks right now. Like, it doesn't have a great Yogg matchup, it has a poor Living End matchup, and it's got a bad Amulet Titan matchup. The Sages are good. Like, Amulet kind of crushes Hammer. Love Apex Gaming. Who's Dothy? Time to scam. Renin 6, Tef, Omnath. You can have Renin 6. I'm gonna take Tef, Omnath. Curse Totem, shut off Dryad Arbor. Yes. Tournament's gonna be at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. I unfortunately cannot participate. I gotta run the tournament. And show all the future matches and whatnot. I play the first two rounds, you finish it off. If I could, I would. But I can't, so I shan't. Be doing that. Centaur Corsair? I ended up 2 2 in the prelim. We lost to Yogmoth and then we lost to Scam and the Scam Mirror. I'm ready to throw this Ragavan away. Yeah, I'm probably ready to throw this Ragavan away and just play a Fable. I was just like waiting for them to cast Ren and Six and they never did. Old Dingo the Dog. I'm either plusing, try to find Solitude. May you never hit Solitude. I hit Omnath. And Solitude. Gonna have to bin both of these. I'm so dead. <laughs> Rookie numbers. This is going to be an issue. It's two Omnats down, though. Can't believe how good this Nissa was. Maybe he finds another copy of Nissa. I did find another copy of Nissa. 
game. Yeah, I don't want either of these. Spawn a removal spell for this Nissa. Not gonna be able to grief them if they find solitude here. They found endurance. Endurance is not solitude. But also draw step grief doesn't do a lot against Nissa. And this is really good. That's the key to beating Yogg with this version. I'll let you know once I beat Yogg. I have not beaten Yogg yet. Which is concerning. I really don't know. I haven't beaten it. Crush me. Found an Omnath. After you used died to Dork and a Grist. Yeah. Grist is like unbeatable. Okay, if I copy, copy, and team. I don't think that's good enough. I go block, block, three, four, five, six, seven. And put them to one. What do they have for this Renin six? Nothing yet. It's like even if you spend Molten Collapse to kill Grist, you're still so far behind because that Grist already made a creature. So it's just, it's just all around bad. That's why I'm like pretty convinced that Yogg's still just the best deck. Not solitude. It's a solitude. <sighs> I guess if they're doing it now, they're giving us a chance. Like, one for one in Grist is not the answer. You can't just one for one grist and hope it's good enough because you when you one for one grist you're falling so far behind already using one of these <laughs> All lands, huh?
I don't understand why they main phase the solitude. If they didn't main phase the solitude, we were dead. I guess we take those. We should have lost that for sure. Oh, it just messed up. I was like getting ready to concede when I saw the uh the solitude off the Nissa. Did both of them have so did one of them have summoning sickness? If, I guess if neither of them had summoning sickness, then we're still fine. Yeah, I guess I didn't remember if one of them had summoning sickness or not. They're both active, then we're still fine. I guess they didn't mess up too badly. I don't want less Rogavons on the draw. Mm -hmm. Tan's terrible. Scams. I don't want to put back Rogavon. And just refill with the Spyro later. But I mean, turn one Grief and then turn two Rogavon is usually pretty unbeatable. Just put back the Spyro. Although this Grief does not have a counter on it, so it gets a little bit worse. Plus, they might have Solitude for it. I think I should have kept that Spyro over Rogavon. Fail. That kind of works out. Take the fairy, take Nissa. Not too sad if they want to play Ren and Six out. Kind of weird that our opponent's still playing Cavern of Souls. Thought that died in the Elementals archetype a while ago. As soon as they stop playing Risen Reef, they usually stop playing Cavern of Souls too. Or color being an embarrassing deck. A little bit. Seen better days. Another line I could have taken there instead of dashing the Rogavon was just thought seize them and then cast the Rogavon, take the Renin Six. Also hopes they don't draw another Renin Six. Of course, Magic Elder, thanks for the kind words. Yeah, let's dash Ragster again. You know what? I'm, now that I'm seeing Ring. Kind of concerned about Ring and Omnath, so I could Thought Seize them here just to ensure I don't die to those two things. There's the Ring. Even though it delays our Shieldred by a turn, probably fine. Although I don't, I think I'm okay if they did play Ring there, because I could just follow up with Shieldred. If they play Ren, I'm ignoring it. I don't really think I need to do anything here. My have Leyline Binding. Could have grieved him, but the same outcome would have happened. Go to three. Halfling. Affling cast Shelly. And it also presents lethal with the dash rock of one plus halfling. So now we have a couple avenues of victory. Ending the halfling. I think I know all the cards in their hand, right? They have Besaju Cavern. And there's the caverns. They have Besaju plus land that they just picked up. Got crushed by Grixis Wizards. Sometimes when that deck just draws like the perfect answers, it's unbeatable. Not unbeatable, but like it's very powerful. It's just like oh, removal, counterspell, ring, Shelly. 
very hard to win. Four color wasn't great before beans. I agree. It was like playable, but it wasn't great. Knocking this in because they have the stubborn denial. They did hit second land here. I think I'm taking Kabu. Abu Flames, maybe. I don't know if I can race this Scion, though. We're going to have to fetch a Triumph, fetch a Shock Land, which is going to put them to 16. I'm tagging them for four, playing a Dothy. So I have seven a turn versus their four a turn. Probably worth trying to race them. Now, scam mirrors are not fun. Not fun in the slightest. I'm on a two turn clock now, but they're also on a two turn clock. I don't really want to play the Fable into the Seven Denial. I could Thought Seize them. I think I'm just going to pass. They didn't draw Burn Spell. If they draw Tribal Flames, they can kill me. If they draw Bolt, they're alive. If they flash in Tidebinder, double block Scion, Tidebinder on Grief, then they're going to 1. I'm not dead on the Crackback. Now, if I thought sees plus dash Raghavan, that should be lethal. This forces them to flash in Tidebinder. Alright, game two. One of the few matchups where Blood Moon is still good. So I'll take the Blood Moons. We'll take the Shieldreds. I guess Shieldreds not great. Because they do have Tribal Flames and Leyline Binding to cleanly answer it. But it's good if I can stick a Blood Moon and then curve out into Shieldred. That might just be like Magical Christmas Land. Dothi's not very good here though. Dothi's might be worse. I'm going to cut the Dothi's and pretend like they're Burnish. Even though Thoughtseize is better against them than it is against Burn. Because they're pretty much creature Burn. I don't know if raising my curve like this is where I want to be either. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to cut Thoughtseize or Dothi. Both of them are very subpar. At least Dothi's a clock though. I don't even know if this is a, the kind of deck I can really race. It's bad, man. Playing a split in this list. They're both fine. They have their applications. Fury one time. Fury would be such a god draw here. I just can't draw to it as an out. Probably going to game three here.
I miss you, Fury. Come back. Yeah, they're playing some sort of tribal zoo list. Totally normal and sane Blackleaf Cliffs. Probably too little too late for this grief. Running back, now they're on the play. Rock Bun's going to be a lot better. I wasn't sure if they were playing the Preordain or if they were playing the Bowmaster version of Zoo. I do agree with them. I think the Bowmaster version's a lot better. Now the all access pass has been gone for a while. Turn one scam, turn two dash Ragavan. Bowmasters. Lay line binding, leave one rest in peace. Rest in peace is so bad against Scam. That's pretty troll, right? <laughs> League noises. That's why I said earlier. Spike was like, oh, Dingo, how's Scam? And I was like, well, I trophied, but I mean... Leagues are skin or er, er, leagues are noise, so just like the before times. Due to the prelim, I mean, it's fine. Doesn't seem great. Young bowmaster. Ooh, Bob Chat. I should use the Undying on the, uh, the Ragavan. I thought they were going to go for the double block on the Bowmaster, but I, I clicked too fast. I should use the Not Dead after all. I think I'm just casting Blood Moon. Even though I have like little to no colored mana now. And I'm probably going to lose to Gigantha. If I can remember they have an emotional support elk. I think I'm going to kill this Bowmaster though. I should have done this before I took one point. I said, draw, yeah, Fable. Yep, Fable. Your dial, thank you for the tier one in the nine months. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Why the dog doing? Okie dokie. Uh, they forgot their elk. Everybody forgets Gigantha, I guess. Yeah, this Gigantha would have cooked me. He's chilling though. Carry me, Ragavan. Don't die. Otherwise, my hand's garbage. Main spring leaf drum. I 
Is your life spiraling out of control? Probably. Maybe I was supposed to grief him. They're playing out a hammer. Something tells me they have pure steel also. Ooh. Yo, Shoop, think of the tier 1 in the 17 months. How dead am I if I just, like, don't take this Pure Steel Paladin? If I take this Cauldra, I can cast the Cauldra, I can attack with both, Mind Collapse, kill the Stoneforge, kill the Hammer, they play Pure Steel Paladin, they tap it for mana, they play Hammer, they draw a card. I think I need to take the Paladin. Cauldra can be next turn's problem, I think. Like, if I want a Thought Seize, I don't know, maybe I'm just supposed to Thought Seize, but they have another Stoneforge Mystic, which is going to get him a Shadow Spear. I guess I could Thought Seize them then, just take the Cauldra. Super. <laughs> I think I'm killing that spear. So I know they have another hammer in hand. I think I'm just gonna kill Giver's spear. I feel like I just send it. I don't know if it matters all that much. This cauldron needs to kill him in two turns. I'm dead. I he's kind of awful in this matchup. Why not leave Cauldron back to block? I didn't know that they were going to rip another Pure Steel Paladin. Also didn't matter because they can animate Ink Moth and give it flying. Like, Shelly's bad here. Maybe Raghavan's not the worst. I could leave him, like, two copies. A lot of three drops, though. But I also just didn't know they were going to draw another Pure Steel Paladin. I think I had to just, like, fade Pure Steel Paladin, so I was never going to beat it. They had another Hammer in hand. But that was what I knew they had in hand. So I think, like, killing the Hammer isn't as good as killing the Shadow Spear there, because they have multiple copies of Hammer and only one copy of Shadow Spear. They draw Cigar Zaid, I guess I'm, like, I'm dying anyways. I think my best bet was just putting him on a two-turn clock and hoping for the best. I don't know. Probably. I have to imagine they have, like, multiple copies of uh, Sanctifier. Thing at the top of my chat that's just frozen. It was called Happening Now, and there was nothing happening now. That's weird. Tothi's, like, really, really bad here. Just like the Molten Collapses in general or in this matchup? Because this is one of the best matchups for her. Molten Collapse. Like, in theory, that Molten Collapse is, like, really, really good, right? But I just couldn't play around them having another Pure Steel Paladin. Terminate wouldn't have saved me there either. They had the Giver. I had to kill the Giver anyways. Don't manitize me. 
You fucking manatied me. Oh, and Manitad's good. It feels, like, really good when it's bad. It just does nothing. Such is the life of a force spike. I am the hammer deck now. I don't think I want a molten collapse, just the cigar to Zayden. I think I can wait. Why is there a Dothie in my deck? Hello? What? Did I not submit my sideboarding? Whack. Pretty sure I submitted, but I guess not. I grabbed Shadow Spear. That they have here. Maybe Surge? At the Exile. Let's try this again. Dothy. Ragavans and Jelly Submission received. All right, worked that time. I'll keep this put back, Bow Master. I don't know if his hand gets there, but. Can try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Persist is pretty bad, unfortunately. Alright, I'm gonna hope this Blood Moon doesn't get manatized. They manatize, untap, Ink Moth, kill me. GG's. Our list, it's the first list on there.
I was not going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Let's have Sanctifier. So I want a Colgan's command. Hmm. This is an interesting spot. Because... I do want to kill this core outfitter. If I do two damage and I pop the hammer... That's fine. Two damage and make him discard, also kind of fine. I think I'm going to pop the hammer. I have another hammer, we might be in a little bit of trouble. I could also just have Surge. At the Exile. Yep. And drop their Cauldra. Even this eight around kind of sucks, but I think just killing the Pierce the Paladin before they chain together multiple hammers or whatever, probably my best interest. Mm -hmm. Onk. That's not how Molten Collapse works. That's Revolt, not Descend. It needs a card, not a token card. A, a physical permanent has to hit your graveyard. Like, if I were discarding with Fable, I could physically discard something like a creature or a land from my hand and then trigger, um, trigger Descend. Anyways. Hey, two trophies with Scam. Is Scam good? I don't know. I guess. What's up, Doomwig? Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore.